Do you want to fly your analog drones with your DJI V2 goggles? Let me show you how by converting from this to this with only this. Let's begin. To convert the DJI V2 goggles from digital to analog, we are going to need two major components, which is the BDI digit adapter and one of the analog module. The digit adapter basically provides us a base for us to plug in our analog module in which the analog module will be able to transmit the video signal into the digit adapter. And the digit adapter is going to have an external cable wire out into our goggles. And this is how we're getting the video signals. I believe these are the modules that will work with the digit adapters. The overall cost for this upgrade should be around 130 to 160 depends on which module you picked. FYI, this upgrade will allow us to fly in both analog and digital. So you're not giving up on either. Okay, so let's just begin the simple installation. I have speeded the video just so we can save some time, but the entire installation process should be within five minutes and very straightforward as this is just completely not complicated. So if I can do it, you can do it too. All right, enjoy the installation. Now we have uh, completed the installation. Let's just power it on and I will show you how to use it. So we're just gonna power up our goggles like usual. And once the goggle is powered on, we are going to hit this little button here. This will allow power to go into the module and this should power also power on our analog module as well. So you're gonna short press it and you're gonna see the height pilot lights up and this little fan is start spinning. And let's flip the goggle around to see if we can see the thing in there. Okay, so now we're going to see that uh, the goggles powered on it. We're going to switch to, we're going to go to the settings. Okay, and we are going to go to AV input. AV in actually. So we're going to hit. And most likely we're just going to see static like this because we haven't connect pair with our quad yet. Okay, let's plug in the battery of our quad. So the easiest way to bind the flying camera to our VTX, to our analog module, is by short pressing this little black button for one second and release it. This should automatically bring us into the main menu in the module in our goggles. Okay, let's switch to the goggle view. Okay, so you now you can see that the little arrow is pointing at band scan. And this is the one we want, but just in case you wanted to switch something around, you can also move the black button sideways to go up and down. If you move up and down on the black button, it's not going to work. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Go back to band scan and let's press the black button again. You can see that now the module has helped us scan the strongest signal that is coming out from the flying camera, which the one we want is going to be B7. Okay, B channel B7, and we're just going to press the black button again to select it. 
you can now see that we have a successful bind. Very simple, right? All right, so I guess this wraps us up this video today. I hope you found something useful. And if you like my content, I will greatly appreciate if you can help me hit the subscribe button. Thanks in advance, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.